KKHT wants you to meet the classiest guys in real estate. This is Tim O'Neill, the icon of insurance. I'm Chris Kelso, the Meister of Mortgage. And I am Rob Cook, the godfather of real estate. And together we are... The Real Real Estate Estate Rat Rat Pack. Pack. Much like us, real estate in the greater Houston area is hot. So whether you're buying, selling, owning, or insuring real estate in the greater Houston area, you need to check us out as we are the preeminent source for everything you need to know. And now, they're here to take your calls and answer your questions live. Call now, 1-800-808-5548. The Real Estate Rat Pack. Good morning, Houston. I can't get enough of Uptown Fun. I know, Uptown Fun. I can, I can listen to that. It, it's amazing. And he even uh, came out again in the Super Bowl. and Did it again? I mean, it was great. It's just such an, an, an uh, but You cannot be in a bad mood after listening song. to that. Absolutely. That so we got some shout outs. Our own Tim O'Neill, we have a shout out for. You know, last hey. week, Tim O'Neill was not here with us because he was up in Austin. There were the TAR uh, winter meetings. Texas Association of Realtors. So. That is correct. And then WCR did their meetings up Women's there. Women's Council of Realtors. Which is the Women's Council of Realtors. We have a lot of acronyms. Yes. yes. <laughs> that is correct. And we now have an acronym within an acronym, which is TRID, you know. Right, right. We've got CB in the house, which is a great. Christy Borden, by the way, that's who you're hearing. I in like the, being my own yeah. acronym. <laughs> <laughs> but Tim won the president's what, choice. That's, 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 the, that's just not a win. That's like the president's personal choice recognized throughout the state. That's a big deal. It's a very big deal. It was very touching, and uh, Kathy Mitchell was our president last year, and to win that, well, to, to be given that by her, you're right, you don't win that. You know, that's something, that, that's a personal thing. It was very touching. And, and you didn't do anything or cry or anything, did you? Well, you know, I did. We're very, very, very touchy-feely oh, at WCR, you had to turn and turn the WCR guy, and yes, those are my people. You, you may have to yes. turn in your man card. I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> just saying. Wow. Turn in the man card. All of a sudden, I turned into Dean Martin roast here. <laughs> that's all right. Rob will show you where his card is, too. <laughs> <laughs> we all yeah. have our moments, don't we? <laughs> he so. turned his in a long time ago. <laughs> so, anybody else we need? Because we've got a, a pretty hot uh, topic today. We have a great talk. We all want to shout out to all those individuals who have committed this week, by the way, to become a tree pack major investor. You know, we had our own Jared Benson uh, commit this yes, week. Yes, a perm here. That is correct. And then we know that our great Tim O'Neill got a major investor this past weekend. And you all upped your and look investment. Look who's talking. Chris Kelso is a major investor. And, I, I, wait, I, aren't I you up, an affiliate? An affiliate could be a major investor? That is correct. Is that an affiliate right? could be a major investor. Wow. And this year I upped it to my to $1,500 versus the Sterling R. So I just got my Sterling R pin. And, and now, now they're going to be a, up one a diamond R. That is correct. So, so let's explain it to the people out there what we're talking about. Because they have no clue. They've never heard of that. Let's yeah. do it. It's the Texas Real Estate Political Action Committee. and right. T-R-E-P-A-C. Uh, and if I could share with you guys um, the mission statement of the PAC. You may. Is, is the mission of Tree PAC is to raise funds to promote home ownership, protect private property rights, and increase political awareness. Pretty straightforward. That is what we do. And we are speaking to the past uh, chairwoman, isn't it? Of Tree PAC, by the way. Yes. So this year it's Chance Brown. Last year it was Christy Borden. And, and let me tell you. Christy, I, I appreciate you being on board today because you're a great individual. You hang out with the Rat Aww. Pack. You're very involved with the Political Action Committee, but also real estate in general. Guess who was number one last year as far as uh, contributions for for uh, city? Uh, let me That's guess. Something. Let me guess. Houston. Hmm, that would be Houston. <laughs> and how much? Time, what was that number? Four point three million. Oh, that's a state. That's a state. Four point three million dollars in the state. But the Houston city of Houston was nine hundred and six thousand. A dollars. record. Congratulations. Now I've got to give a little background on uh, political action committee. I was vehemently opposed to PACs because I thought that was your buying votes and things like this. But what I've right. become aware now that I've been to Washington, D.C. 15 and 16 times, about to go again, is that we support people who support private property rights. And we are always on the right side of the issue. So it is education. These uh, congressmen and senators are always making decisions. they got to have the facts. Right. And a lot of times, you know, like they're trying to take, they're still trying to take away the MID, which is the mortgage interest deduction. More acronym. It comes up all the time. That would impact home ownership quite a bit. And we're fighting to make sure that we maintain the MID. There's a lot of a miscom- um, misunderstanding about what a PAC does. And political action committees collect contributions from many people, meaning the membership class, 
They aggregate those contributions into one fund, and they donate to campaigns for or against. And there are three items, either individual candidates, and a lot of this based on um, those candidates' past performance and how they understand the mission of the PAC. Another one is ballot initiatives, a lot like Prop 1 and those things that have passed, and actual legislation that could be harmful to, in our in, in our instance, private property rights. We had a huge and successful year last year with our legislature. You know, we only have a you know part-time legislature. They only have, only mess with us every two years. Thank but there was Proposition 1 was a huge win for us. We fought very hard, had a statewide campaign, I think uh, through media. And what it, that did for everybody out there listening who are homeowners is that it raised the homestead exemption to twenty five thousand dollars. By it ten thousand, yeah. That was was fifteen thousand. But the other right. thing is, every time there's a legislative period, legislators legislators are looking for more money. Right. You know, we have a uh, and they want to do a transfer tax. <laughs> every time you sold your home, there would be a little fee. But you know that it's that camel's nose under the tent. Right. So once you have a little fee, it never goes away, and it always seems to grow. So part of Prop 1 also was forever banned would be a possibility of a transfer tax. Yeah. We uh, have I, a I love it. Particularly we have a we in do have subject. a caller on you know who's board on with us right there. You know, one of the things we tell everybody is we got to make sure we put on our headset so we can hear everybody. I'll make sure Christy has hers. But we've got Vicky calling in. Vicky, how are you doing? <laughs> Vicky, are you with us? Hello. Hello, hey, you with us? Yes, I'm here. Is this the Vicki Fullerton? The Vicki, sure it is. This is the Vicki Fullerton from Montgomery County. Well, and then also Chairman-Elect for the Texas Association of Realtors. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And I'm, I have the privilege of sitting with uh, Congressman Kevin Brady, the Chair of Ways and Means here in Montgomery County. We are involved in a um, multi-challenge race. Uh, Forces are trying to unseat Kevin, and so we're rallying the forces here at the Black Walnut in uh, the Woodlands. Well, you know, he's been a great proponent of, of private property rights, and, uh, you know, I hope that uh, he prevails in his race because we would hate to lose him. He, you know, uh, he may not remember this, but we were in Washington, D.C. He's the one that gave me the flow chart on uh, uh, Obamacare, and I've been carrying that chart around ever since then, showing it to people. And showing it to everybody. <laughs> Hey, I tell you, this is Kevin right here. How are you doing? Doing great, Good Kevin. Morning, sir. Thank you for joining us on the show. So. No, thank you. But yeah, you know that was the, we actually went for four months, went through every uh, line of that horrible bill and tried to put a, a organization chart together to show just how bureaucratic and complex and, and bad this law was going to be. So, and you know, it's just exactly what we predicted. Yeah, and, and yeah. It, it, that's one of the times you kind of wish you weren't right, isn't it? Yeah, no kidding. And it's really hurt, as you know, it's really hurt a lot of small businesses, for a lot of patients and people now are they're finding out that even with all the subsidies, you know, it's too costly. They can't see the local doctors, the medicines that used to be on are covered. And so I think for every person in Texas who's eligible, or every two people that are eligible for all the subsidies, one of them is no banks. I'd rather pay a tax and get into that mess. So it's really, we're, we're finding hard ways and means maybe it's going to be leading the effort to replace it with a new uh, president. And so we're excited about really taking it back and giving people more power rather than Washington. Yeah, it, it, uh, it's almost like it was destined to, and of, and of course we have one of our, uh, Tim O'Neill here, who's our insurance guru, we talked about it, it, almost like it was designed to fail because I think what the, the, other, the opposition wants is a single-payer system. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. I think that's why we were fighting the architecture so hard because you set this thing up to where the private sector really can't provide that health care. There's fewer choices. And when it collapses, people say, well, the government just didn't need, we didn't go far enough. And uh, so it is, yeah, and, and you'll, you see that in this uh, Democrat uh, presidential campaign. They're both talking that direction. Um, Congressman Brady, this is Christy Borden, and I work with Vicki a lot in the on the yeah. PAC side, we truly appreciate you. And one of the things that our listeners here may not understand is we actually vet our legislators to, you know, make sure they're doing the right thing with private property rights. And the reason that you've had our continued support is because you have stepped up. You understand we are here to protect the consumer. And there really is not another um, advocacy group on behalf of the consumer other than 
the Realtor Association. Oh, and so we appreciate you and uh, and just wanted to explain why no, you know you have our support. You right, you guys are terrific. You, you keep private property rights at the forefront of every issue up there, and also you fight to keep you know government you know thinks they're trying to do good, but what they end up doing is making it harder for people to get votes. You know, driving up the cost, you know, of, of closing and the homes themselves, appraisals, and so uh, to make it tougher for local banks to lend. And so, who, who, and then with the regulations, they drive up the cost of the house themselves, you know, all the new regulations, all that. So, man, it's just, it's, they say they're for the consumer, but you guys always make the case no, you know, you're really making it harder for families to get into that first home, and certainly harder for them to upgrade as well. Well, and by the way, if you could ever get uh, CFPB either A, to go away, or B, at least be accountable to somebody, yeah, that would be a good thing. Cause... It really would. They, they, they get their own source of money from the Federal Reserve. They have no oversight from Congress. They can do whatever they want to do. And I think, I don't know if you agree, it's Whenever the government says they're looking out for your wallet, man, <laughs> hold on to your wallet. What was it? Reagan Reagan said, hi, I'm from the government. I'm here to help. Is the yeah, scariest boy, sentence in the English we language. All, we all know it differently. But, <laughs> but, too, you guys are such an important part of the economy and the community. I mean, I before I went to Congress, I was the Chamber of Commerce in Texas in Beaumont before I came to the Woodland Theory. And before I got to see the real estate community involved in every important thing in our community, building it, Helping it grow, helping our heroes, our veterans, and our military, and just giving back. In fact, we just talked to KAR, um, one of the honorees who gets a quarter of all our clothing to, to help our local heroes. It's really it's amazing. Yeah, uh, Congressman, you've got a you've got a public venue right now. What would you like the the public to know, and maybe what kind of challenges that you're facing, uh, and the message that you'd like to leave them with? Yeah, I, I you know one my message is this country's on the wrong track, but we can turn it back around. I have no doubt about it. Uh, we're going to have to tackle the big issues, and that's why I love, I just got elected the uh, third Texan ever to lead the House Ways and Means Committee in 226 years, and it's an opportunity to fix this broken tax code so people can keep more of what they've earned. It's a chance to save Social Security, Medicare, the really important program. They're not still collapsed. We've got to act now to do it. And then to replace Obamacare and reform welfare so that people can get back to work, actually get out of the government, paycheck, and back in the workforce. Those are the big issues that we'll, we get to tackle, ways and means. So it's really, you know, I'm excited about the chance to work um, up there for our folks back here to make some of those big changes. Well, those, those are some huge, huge challenges, and I do know that we can reverse some of the damage yeah. has been done it's just going to take a while it's going to take a lot of work it will and we're going to need new president to do it but i say what is as angry and frustrated as everyone is and i am too i also haven't seen the problem yet but if we just put our back into it we can't solve and that's why we keep in mind we are america we can do anything we choose to do and i think we can turn things around well, i absolutely wholeheartedly agree so, but we're, uh, we're going to come up at a break right here vicky is there anything that you'd like to add on to that well, we just need to keep Kevin standing for us. So we, you know, he stood with us over all of these years. Now we just have to stand for Kevin. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and and, and uh, Congressman, you've got someone there is probably one of your biggest advocates. You're sitting right next to. Oh her. man, no, don't I know it? <laughs> right? I mean, so bad. And, and thank you, thank you it. for Vicky. Thank you for everything that you do for the consumer. Thank you. In the thank history of bad ideas, we have one here. Let's primary the, the the Ways and Means Chairman. There's a good idea. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, people, what are we thinking out there? <laughs> so. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you Likewise, all so much. Thank you all very much for calling in. You know, we're going to have to go into the break right now. We have uh, Marv waiting to get on the phone call and another phone call waiting as well. So both of you all stay tuned. We're going to take a break, but we'll be right back. Don't go away. I don't like it. I love it, love it, love it. Uh-oh. So good it hurts. I don't want it. 